What's up guys, so I'm about to show you a super easy and fast tutorial on how to not only increase FPS in Gary's mod, but also potentially stop some crashes. So let's go ahead and get into the first step. First step, right click the game, hit properties, go into local files, and first you're going to want to verify the integrity of the game files. Now once that's done, hit browse, click on Gary's mod, find CFG and find the auto executable CFG file. You may have to right click this and open with notepad. And you're gonna wanna copy and paste the code that I have in the description into this here and file and save. Now one thing I like to mention about this is if this is actually causing your game to crash, you're gonna wanna remove this until you can stop the crashes and then paste it back into here and see if you have any type of uh, FPS increase but for the most part, you're not really going to want to worry about the FPS for now. If you are crashing, you're going to want to fix the, you know, uh, root of the of the issue and then go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and save it in the mind since I know that that's not going to cause it to crash. But that will also increase FPS a lot by enabling multi-core rendering. So after that's done, you're going to want to click on the game again and hit workshop. And you're going to want to click your workshop files and under workshop items I've already clicked unsubscribe all but on this area here you'll see a button that says unsubscribe all just click that and what that does is it unsubscribes from all of your workshop items uh, which obviously you get by joining a server it downloads you know custom material custom skins etc and it places it in this list here so this will actually increase the FPS and potentially stop crashes due to the fact that it's not forcing your game at the very start to load all of these items so it's gonna start off on a clean slate basically so next step we're gonna wanna open the game now you'll see here that I have three options right so the thing with running Gmod in 64 bit which does increase FPS for the most part it also has caused some of my crashes but if you do not have any issues with crashes you can try running in 64 bit you can do that by clicking on betas and selecting the x86 by 64 64 bit binaries so I'm gonna go ahead and load the game into 64 bit and we're gonna go on to the next step so the third step here is you want to go ahead and go into options click on video advanced and uh, it's kind of like a weird issue so some people are saying to put it at the highest possible even if you know your PC can't run it and some people are saying to put the lowest settings possible even if your PC can run it higher now personally I haven't seen any type of benefit from doing both so for me personally I keep everything on medium and anti analyzing on none filtering mode on the second one vertical sync has to be disabled multi core rendering enabled uncheck use bloom effect disable windows arrow extensions and lastly disable motion blur very important motion blur vertical sync has to be disabled once that's done apply okay another thing some people say running it in uh, let's say borderless versus full screen you know that argument doesn't make any sense to me because I've crashed in both so normally I run it in full screen with the highest resolution obviously I just have it in windowed mode uh, to show you guys so the very last step which I think is very important that no one mentions is you have to update your GPU and your CPU drivers that's extremely important so look if you don't know how I'm about to show you very quickly how to do this now doing the CPU and uh, GPU driver update will not only increase FPS potentially but also most definitely stop crashes so let's just say you have Intel right you're gonna look up Intel driver update if you had AMD you would look up AMD driver update or whatever kind of CPU you have and no matter what product they will always have a support page with a download that will allow you to uh, automatically search for newer drivers if not you can manually search for it using your CPU specs so once that's done make sure not to restart your PC until you also do a GPU driver update. So I have NVIDIA, so I'm gonna look up NVIDIA driver update. And again, it goes to a page where it automatically scans. If not, I can manually insert it in there. So once all that is done, you can go ahead and restart your PC 
and once it's restarted you're gonna want to go into the game and here's the thing um, you're gonna see more issues with FPS the more servers you join so I suggest only joining let's say three servers right you get a variety pick a dark RP your favorite TTT server you know whatever just try to stick with three if possible so one last thing I can suggest is copying this IP and instead of hitting join server you actually go into the console and type connect and the IP that actually has fixed some crashes for me so hopefully that you know helped you guys out if you got any type of uh, issues or questions just comment below and I'll try to get it or get to it as fast as possible thank you guys for watching and so next time